wait till you hear this. Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. And we begin with Richard's favorite topic, topics, UFOs. Absolutely, Erica. And, you know, gone are the days. We did a big piece on this yesterday, and I was reading the comments. Yes, I read the comments. And people were saying, hey, I'm so glad that Richard and Erica, like, treated this seriously. And, you know, I think it's important to treat it seriously. Gone are the days when we joke about it because the U.S. military isn't joking about it. They have authenticated these videos we're looking at here, shot by U.S. Navy pilots. Objects, the U.S. military, they don't know what they are. They move at speeds that we can't move at. Drop from 80,000 feet to ocean level in a second. It's been a big story. 60 Minutes did a big piece over the weekend. Anyways, weighing in on this now former U.S. President Barack Obama. He was on the Late Show with James Corden last night. In 1973, future President Jimmy Carter went public with a claim that he had seen a UFO years earlier in the skies over rural Georgia. President Eisenhower was said to have been within a breath of courage from announcing the UFO phenomena to the United Nations and in the 1990s, former President Clinton told the Irish people during a visit to Ireland they weren't telling him either in regards to what the phenomena may be. And just this week, former President Barack Obama went on late night TV and admitted there are objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. All this disclosure coming in the wake of President Trump's wrecking ball disclosure order, of which will be revealed in June this year, a full public disclosure in the study of the unknown aerial phenomena. These admissions were met with wildly different receptions and underscore what's been a gradual shift in public attitudes that is now hitting its peak. Exactly what these things are, no one seems to know. Aliens? China? Russia? Interdimensional beings? Obama's comment, much like Trump's comments last year marvelling at the hell of a video showing Navy pilots encountering strange objects in the sky, that these comments aren't dismissed, ridiculed or cast aside as science fiction. Instead, in the media and across the country, UFOs have gone mainstream, putting unprecedented pressure on the Pentagon, CIA and other arms of the government to level with the American citizens, and finally disclose information locked up in a century's worth of classified files. All this interest in the UFO phenomena has gone viral, and let's face it, it's not because it might be China or Russia messing around with secret technology, all this interest is because, yes, it might be aliens or something incredibly strange. But what do you guys think about this one anyway? Have you had any strange experiences that you struggle to come to terms with? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. What a strange world we live in, where channels like ours can rise to great heights, only for those efforts to be swept away from under our feet, so to speak. Nonetheless, we fight on as always and are staging a channel poll which we aim to take to YouTube for answers. If you could take a moment to participate in our poll, then that would be a great help in our efforts for survival. Thanks in advance. There's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. You know, I, th I think that we're uh, people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is.